33-year-old Jonathan Houseman was the director of a skip hire company from Stalbridge. His business associates were 29-year-old Brian McIntosh and 31-year-old Will Henry. Now Brian and Will owned a waste disposal company and they had carried out various jobs for Jonathan, such as cleaning out a site he owned in Hells Owen. Any time you complete a job, you expect to be paid, but Jonathan did not pay these men. On September 30th, 2020, Jonathan had an idea. He had lured his two friends to Albion Works Industrial Estate in Bridley Hill under the guise of clearing a £400,000 debt that had incurred. Now, Brian and Will were getting fed up with Jonathan's lack of cooperation, so the invitation to meet was welcomed. Brian and Will travelled to the meeting spot in a Range Rover. Jonathan was in the back seat and he was armed. Will and Brian were none the wiser. Jonathan Houseman waited for the two men who were former boxers to let their guard down. Once Jonathan felt like he was in control, he waited for the car to start moving slowly. He aimed his pistol and then fired at point blank range. Brian McIntosh, who was a dad of two, was shot four times in the face and neck. Will Henry, who was expecting his first child and was also a stepdad, was struck twice. It proved fatal for both men. This was a cold and callous murder. The courts heard that the coward of a man had exited the Range Rover then before getting back in the car and turning off the engine and also the windscreen wipers, meaning Jonathan would have had to lean over their bodies. And then, in the immediate aftermath, Jonathan walked over a few metres to his car and then exited the industrial state. He then drove to the H2O car wash in Maryhill, run by his mate Richard Avery, who then hid the G-U-N. At the car wash, Jonathan changed his red stained clothes and hosed himself down. Richard Avery then took the clothes, put them in a bag before loading them into another car. The clothes were later destroyed in an incinerator. Squeaky clean, Jonathan then went home and ate chicken and potatoes. Now the murder investigation was launched and Jonathan was caught on CCTV in the vicinity. It then became apparent that Jonathan was in a lot of debt to the tune of £400 to Brian and Will for non-payment of work completed. Jonathan did pay a small portion of the money owed, but, but Brian and Will wanted complete payment. Jonathan was stopped by his car by police in Carnforth at 11.30am. Now when Jonathan was arrested, he attempted to blame the execution on an imaginary fourth person. However, the judge concluded that Jonathan's actions were an act of desperation of a man who could not pay the debt. As for the GUN, it's never been located or recovered and police believe that it's currently in criminal circulation. Jonathan was jailed for life with a, with a minimum term of 40 years. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.